All right, y'all, I got a story to tell. Before I get into the story, right, this is something I want to do. I'm going to come on here periodically and tell you some stories, right, about stuff that really happened to me because I'll be having some funny sh really happen to me in real life, right? I got another story I want to tell <laughs> that I'm going to bring rain on for. Something happened when we was in Atlanta, but that's going to be the next one. So this story right here, or like I said before, before I get into that, I'm, yeah, so I'm going to come on here. When you see the title, I got a story to tell, I'm going to tell y'all a story about something that really happened to me. All right? This is all, this little segment I want to start. Um, Because like I said, I'll be having some funny sh happening to me. Sometimes it don't be funny. It just be funny to me when I think about it. It'd be real life stuff, stuff that maybe a lot of people could relate to. So it's, it's good to tell because I'm pretty sure it's going to be things people could relate to and stuff like that. But let's get to this story right here. All right. Well, another thing I want to say before I ever get into that. When you're doing good, and this is what I realize, what I see, when you're doing good in life, right? When you or people think you're doing good. They try to make up a bunch of things, but they try to say as much negative things about you as possible, right? I'm going to say this. If the stuff people say are true or is true, it will be so easy to find that out. It ain't hard to find out something that's true, Okay. So, if anybody ever say something about me, right, and you want to know if it's true, go look for it. And when you can't find it, then you know it's false. All right? A lot of stuff I don't, I don't talk about, I let, I let slide. You know what I'm saying? And then I let slide, but I don't waste my time on talking, really talking about something unless I'm asked about it. Let's I go on one of these interviews like Hip Hop is Real, 15 Minutes of Fame, and they ask me about certain things because that's their job. That's what they're supposed to do, right? So they'll ask me about certain things, and then I'll speak on it, right? But when something ain't true at all and you just it, it doesn't bother you at all because it ain't true, you just really, it's just, you laugh at it, all right? So... For the you know the because you got some some fans or groupies I call them groupies the ones that just be on here just saying stuff they like to say negative things to just they just say things right to those people when you hear if you hear somebody say something about me in a negative light they try to paint a, a picture that's false go look for it and when you find something you bring it back here. And I'll be sitting here chilling, continuing doing what I'm doing because I know it's false. All right. So that goal that that applies for from the battle I had with Calico up until right now. Somebody said son. That applies to that. All right. From now on, my new name is Goods the Big Nuke. I keep telling y'all that. For now on, call me the big nuke. I don't want to hear y'all call me goods, call me goods the big nuke. Okay, I took that name. That's my name now. If anybody got a problem with it, that's my name. All right, period. All right, I think I, I like the name. Never heard the name before in my life, but I like that name, so I'm taking it. That's my name. That's that. All right, cool. So let's get into the story. Let me see if I could tell it. I think before I do these stories, I got to start saying them in my head before I come on so I could tell it right. But let me see if I could tell it right. So they locked my ass up the other day. Nobody noticed. They locked my ass up. Yeah, yes, they did. They locked my ass up. Yep. They locked me up. Now, what am I getting locked up for? I don't know. In my life now, why am I being locked up? Right now in my life, at, at, at this age, me being locked up, do you know how mad, 
So here we go. I was coming from seeing my daughter in the hospital. Nothing crazy. She was just in the hospital, wasn't feeling good, whatever. I was, I was coming from seeing her, right? It's about, so I left the hospital like 2 o'clock in the morning, right? Two, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Let's say that. Somewhere around that time, 2.30, something like that. She's in Pres- She was in Presbyterian Hospital in Harlem. Not Harlem, I'm sorry. Um, That's 168th Street or something like that. And Broadway, if I'm not mistaken, some, some, something like that. So her grandmother is there. I'm dropping her grandmother off, all right? Her grandmother lives down the block somewhere, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm driving, drops her grandmother off. So I'm going to paint the whole picture. So come down the block, you make the right. I goes down the block, drop her grandmother off. Right there, she gets out. Bye, you know, you have a, a good night, da 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 I make another right goes up the block about two lights i see they have a checkpoint at, at this light so in my head i'm like man i'm not you know, this is cool man let me let me help him get this over with i know i'm good i ain't worrying about nothing in the world you know what i'm saying i get to the checkpoint right and when i get to the checkpoint they pull me over. Of course they pull me over. You know, they see somebody in a, a certain kind of car or they look at you, racial profile, you know, because I sort of let people go, but they pull me over. Of course they pull me over. Cool. Pull me over. All right. Cool. They pull me over. Right. So I give them my license and all that. Now I'm just waiting. Now I'm going to stop right here for a minute. I want to say this. I got a PBA car card in my car if y'all don't know what a pba card is that's something you if you got a friend or family member that's a police officer or in that field they give you a card that has a like a badge on it that says their name and their ranking right i had a, a pba card and and this was like uh a captain or something so it was like a higher ranking up that somebody gave me that i know i don't get pulled over no more so i forgot i even had that in a car now what happens is if you get pulled over and they stop you and you give them that card they let you go they, they, they don't even ask for your license 90 percent of the time when they see that they don't even mess with you because you know somebody in the police field so they'll just give they won't even actually just give you back your license and be like all right you enjoy your day i forgot i had that in the car they asked me for my license and registration i go in the glove box move the pba card out the way don't even think about it grab my registration now when i when i gave them the registration i was supposed to give it to them with the pba card with, with the registration in between the pba card uh, here you go right move the move the pba card the way i didn't even think about that grabbed it gave him my stuff because in my head i'm good i don't have nothing to worry about I know all my stuff is good. I, I don't play with taking care of business. I don't play with taking care of my car. I don't play with taking care of nothing that goes on as a grown man. So I know I'm good. I ain't worrying about nothing. So you know I'm sitting there like this, playing my music. I'm, I'm waiting for them to bring my stuff back so I can go. They taking mad long, mad long. Now, in New York, I don't, I don't know if they still do this, but when I was outside, they used to just pop your trunk. Like, they'll just go and pop your trunk and search your trunk without asking you. Now, in any case, that's that's illegal. So let's say you you, you have a gun in your, in your trunk or you got something in your trunk. If they go pop your trunk illegally, you're going to go to jail, but you can beat that. You get a lawyer, the lawyer is going to beat that. He's going to spank that, right? So I'm looking. I'm thinking that's what they're about to do because they have did this to me plenty of times. I remember one time they... I ain't gonna get into that story, but they popped my trunk and I actually, but we ain't gonna get into that. I wound up, they wound up not searching my trunk, but anyway. So 
now they taking long. So I'm like, why they take? All right. So then, now I'm getting tight. So now the dude come back to the car, right? He's his captain is there. So it's like four regular cops and there's a captain there. So when your captain is there, you know they be on. They gotta be on, on point. Come back to the car. He said, "Yo, do you have another license in New York?" So he said that because I don't know why he said that, but my license is not in New York. I don't have a New York license no more because I don't live in New York. So I don't have a New York license no more. So he said, do you have another license in New York? I said, no. Now, now, now I'm upset. Now, when, when you know you got nothing going on with you and you know that everything is right, now you start getting tight because now you're trying to play me. You're talking to me like I'm one of these niggas y'all be pulling No, Stop playing with me. Now, now I'm tight. What you mean by that? No, I don't. I have I have not lived in New York in about five years. What are, what are you talking about? So now now I'm getting a little now I'm getting a little upset. He he goes back. He come back and say, "Your license is suspended." I said, "No, it's not. You lying." And now I start now I start, but no, you're lying. I know you lying. You know I know you lying because I have not had a license in New York in five years. How my license suspended? And he said my license was suspended in New York. How? I don't have a license in New York and I haven't had one in five years. How's my life suspended? The fuck you talking about? You bugging that. Now, now I'm tight. Now I'm dead tight. He like, you want me to show you? Yeah, show me. Shows me a paper. It says my license is good everywhere but New York. Right? So now when he shows me that, I instantly turn pussy. Now my voice go down. Now I'm more like I, I don't I don't understand this. I don't understand how this is going on. Like I, my whole voice changed. Now I don't I don't even understand how this is going on. This is crazy. I, I, how? Explain to me how my license could be not good in New York and is and is how like right. So he says you must have a ticket or something like that you didn't take care of in New York. So they just suspended it in New York. Ask me to get out the car put the cuffs on me, take me to the prison. Yes, he did, right? So now he had somebody else take me. They take me, they put me in a car, got the cuffs on, right? So now they driving. Now they see something else happening. They drive by something else happening. So now it's, it, it, it's a female cop driving. You know females can't drive, I'm sorry females cannot drive she steps on the gas boom she doing a hundred i got the cuffs on i'm falling back falling on the chair she wilding to, to get me to the precinct to run back and go deal with whatever was going on there finally gets me to the priest to take me i'm in it when i'm in the precinct about five minutes later the dude comes in he's right behind her the, the dude comes in and locks me up so you're like yo your name good I'm like, yeah, nigga, and you got me locked up in this shit, man. What's up to that? Now, so now, now I'm talking like that. Yeah, you want me locked up in? You, nigga, no, I am. You want to lock? He like, no, 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 I got you. I got you. He said, I'm going to give you a, a disappearance ticket. Now, a disappearance ticket is they let you go from the precinct. They don't they don't put you through and you go through the bookings. And I had to spend a night in jail and do all that. You don't want that. I did not want to spend a night in jail. I was about to be tight. So... He said, yo, I got you. I'm, I'm going to get you a disappearance ticket, and, and, and you're going to be out of it. Locks me up in the um in the, in the cell, in the precinct. Now, when I go in there, it's a, they got a, it's, it's like an office with a, with a cell in it. It, it, it. It's a girl in there. Clearly, the, they got her, they got her uh, chain. Lock, uh, handcuffed to like something, and she's sitting down. Clearly, they they know her because she 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 must always get locked up. But clearly, she's on something. Matter of fact, when I was on the hip hop is real interview, she had walked by actually, and I would say, "Yo, I know her from sitting, sitting in the jail." She was sitting right there, so they was taking her to the book, and she was going through. But she, you know, she on son. She but she in there telling me mad stories. The girl in there telling me how she smoked crack. This that she said, "Yo, I'm in." She in there telling me so much shit. I'm like, "Oh my god, I'm get me the hell. Why am I in here? This is crazy." Now it was about three o'clock in the morning. I'm in there, right? All this happened. It's three o'clock in the morning. 
he doing the paperwork for the for the disappearance ticket and all that. When, when we doing the paperwork, we gotta do mad paperwork. This shit takes about three hours to do. He doing all the paperwork, blah blah whatever. whatever. So now, after he do everything, he goes to call and he say, "Oh shit!" I say, "What? What happened? I thought I was good. What? What, what you mean? Oh shit, nigga, get me out of here! I don't want to be in this dance. What's wrong with you talking about? Oh shit, right?" So he says that. So he like, "Yo, I just realized something." He was like, "The dis the disappearance ticket works." when you live in new york because it might not work because your id doesn't say new york and they they're gonna think that they can think that you're not gonna come to this court date because you don't live here you could just run you could just not come back and go where you where you live i'm like oh my god he like yo i'm gonna try anyway but they be deading people off of that so he calls. He said, yeah, I'm gonna put it on speaker for you. Now he's talking to me the whole time. The kid know me and all that. Dominican kid. He calls. I he might see this. I hope you see this and he right under there too. So he calls. They tell him, yo, you didn't do this. So before we even know if they're gonna do it, he's like, yo, you forgot to do this. He had to hang up the phone, go back for another hour and do something else. Finally got that done, came back, sent up. He said, All right, here we go. He calls on speaker. So he talking. Da, 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 da. It gets to the point now. I'm like, come on, man. Boom, it went through. There's like, yo, listen, your court date is this, that, and the third. Bye, bye. You good? Bye, bye. Get me the hell out of here. All right. Finally got me out of there. By the time I left, it was six thirty in the morning. Right. So let me tell y'all why they locked me up. They locked me up because. I missed a court date and when it was COVID. I missed a court date in 2020, right? When all the courts shut down, it wasn't no date. You, you, you couldn't, they shut down the court so you couldn't go to court. Then what they did was they reissued you another date when the stuff opened back up and you were supposed to go online to court. I never got that. They reissued my date for uh, 2021 sometime. So this is 2020. The court shut down. They reissued me a date for 2021 sometime. And I, I, I didn't even know about it. Remember, I don't live in New York no more, right? So this is what they locked me up for. So now, he like, yo, yeah, so your life suspended. I said, yo, listen, I'm going to the DMV tomorrow to fix that, right? I don't care what it is. I'm going to fix it, whatever it is. So now I get out at 6.30, right? I get home, let's say 7 o'clock. Um, um, sleep, let's say I get to sleep around 8 o'clock, right? Let's say I, I finally fall asleep at like 8 o'clock. I wakes right back up at like 11. So I got three hours of sleep. Now, you know, for the DMV, you got to make an appointment, but I want to take care of this now, whatever it is. I'm going to check and see why my life's suspended. I, I'm not driving because I'm in New York a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm driving through Harlem. I'm in Harlem a lot. I'm in the Bronx a lot. I'm all through there. So I don't even want this to happen again. All right. I go straight. I, I, so now I get on the phone. Boom. They got one appointment for one o'clock. By the time I looked at the phone to make the appointment, I mean, to see when I could go in, because I forgot you got to make an appointment. It was 12 o'clock. They had one appointment at 1 o'clock. I had to rush out the house. Boom. Make it to the point. Remember, I'm going back to New York. I'm not far from it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm right here, but I'm going back to New York. Traffic, all that. Boom. I make it there. I go inside, boom, boom, boom. Now, when I get in there, they, they, I sit there. They finally call my number. I go up. The dude at the DMV know me, right? He know me, so I'm good. He like, yo, guys, I got you. I'm make sure. And, and this is the good thing about 
you know what I'm saying, having supporters and people that mess with you and, 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 and you know, a little fake celebrity status, you know what I'm saying? And, and showing love to people, you being a person that always show love, because I show love to everybody that support me. Every, like, every, I tell you, I'll stop doing whatever I'm doing to take a picture, to, to talk for a minute, to do whatever, you know what I'm saying? That's just me, right? So he like, yo, because I got you one more. He said, yo, you owe this, but I don't know what this is. Look, we got to go over here to this desk and you're going to have to call this number, da da da, da. but I'm going to get everything you owe. You have to call this number and talk to a judge and plead guilty over the phone and then pay it. Mash it. So I sat there, did that, boom. When he went to the other desk, he rung up everything more. I had to pay them $1,000. Right, I had to pay them a thousand dollars in my head, though. I said, I'm gonna have to pay like a thousand dollars. Watch, and that's exactly what I had to pay a thousand dollars. That shit was like 963 or something. So I'm like, All right, man, he goes there, send the phone, do all that, boom, boom, pays the money, pay everything over the phone. I'm good. All right, took care of everything, crazy tired. Finally went back home, and that was it. But I got a story to tell, and that was my story. All right, <laughs> let me know if y'all want if y'all want me to keep doing this because this this is these are real life stories, are real life things that's happening to me, and I, you know, what I'm saying I think it's it's funny, and you don't know what you know we might or I might go through in my personal life, so I don't mind bringing y'all into it and showing y'all little things <laughs> that I go through. It ain't all peaches and cream. I go through some shit for no reason. But uh, thank y'all for listening. I got a story to tell. I'm out of here.